Hey, good morning. I want to talk to you about using your current clients to get more clients. I had a one-on-one -on -one call with a copywriter this week. She's moving into a new niche and she's got a client who is absolutely her ideal client. Now, we were talking about how to get her marketing going in this new niche so she can get more clients like the one she has. And my big bit of advice was to use the project she's currently doing to get more clients, to showcase not only the kind of work she does, but who she works with. And so I wanna share those tips with you because the clients you are working with can absolutely be a gold mine of content in your regular marketing. So you should always be talking about the projects you're about to start, the projects you're just wrapping up, and the projects you are working on now, all the time, all the time. So when you're talking about the projects you're about to start, you want to showcase and celebrate the kind of clients that you're working with. So this is not bragging, this is showing excitement for the work that you do, and also celebrating clients who are being smart and outsourcing it to you. So this is kind of just general excitement. I'm excited to get going. I just talked to a client who I think is a brilliant business owner and I cannot wait to jump in to the, these are the types of projects that you're doing, right? So you're showing excitement while also showcasing who you're working with and the kind of work you're doing with them. Now, at the end of the projects, you also wanna be talking about the work that you have just done. And so ideally, you're sharing testimonials. Maybe you've written up into a case study. Maybe you get to show off um, screenshots of the published work. But sometimes it takes a while for that to be available because it can take a while for clients to implement the copy that we've written. Okay, so in the meantime, you wanna be saying things like, I just had the wrap up call with one of my most favorite clients. They are this kind of business, they work in this kind of industry, and we just did these kinds of copy projects, right? You're just giving a summary of who you're working with and what you did for them. And you can also share some, like a little mini case study but in different pieces of your marketing, what their objectives were, how you met them, what you delivered for them, and that you're available to do it again. And of course, as soon as you're able to get screenshots or copies, as soon as you've got your testimonial, you share it again. In fact, you should be sharing old projects as part of your regular piece of marketing. It's not just, oh, I just finished it, now I'll share it once and we move on. No, sharing portfolio pieces from your archive, the clients you have worked with, the testimonials that they gave you, is something you should be doing regularly. It doesn't matter if the project wrapped up a while ago. If you want more projects like that and more clients like that, showcase them, celebrate them. So that's talking about the projects you're about to start, talking about the projects you're wrapping up, but it's also talking about the projects you are currently working on. If this is a client you want more of, talk about the project. And I'm not talking about kind of at high level terms, I'm talking about every single step of the project. I just had the first copywriting brief call with this new client and you might say, with this course creator that I'm working on, with this um, SaaS business that I'm writing copy for, like give them a label so that other clients in that space can know that you work with them as well. I just had a call with this new client and I'm really, a really interesting thing came up and I wanted to share it with you, okay? So you're just kind of name dropping and it doesn't need to be name dropping the brand but the type of client you're working with, um, the type of copy that you're doing on and something interesting that came up during the conversation. Share it, turn it into an insight. I'm just doing an audit of my new client's copy or my new client's marketing or my new client's emails and I'm seeing a gap that I see in a lot of businesses, all right? So use the work you're doing now with this client to showcase some of your expertise and share a tip. Something like, I'm mapping out the content strategy or the email strategy, I'm mapping out the UX, I'm doing the wireframe, whatever. And for this new client that I'm working on who I'm loving to bits, always be showing that excitement. And I wanted to share a few tips with you, right? So the work you're doing now turns into 
tagging the audience you're working with, tagging the type of work that you're doing with them, and showcasing your authority and your knowledge and your expertise. Another idea, um, the voice of customer interviews I just did for the client I'm working with right now are a gold mine. The copy is gonna write itself because these customers are so happy it was a pleasure to talk with them and the excitement they have for the client who I'm working with. Now, if you aren't doing voice of customer research, here are some things you need to know. Again, looking at what you are doing for your client and talking about it in your marketing. Now, if you're in like signed an NDA or something like that, you don't have to mention brands or specific businesses, specific client names. You can speak in general terms about the size of the business, the industry, um, the general label that they have, course creator, coach, SaaS, e-commerce business, whatever that is, you can mention that because you're constantly trying to send out signals of who you work with, the type of work that you do, and that you're available to be booked in, okay? And the content, the, the work that you're doing with clients that you're about to start and that you have done is a gold mine to showcase the kind of work you can do. Now, there's gonna be some resistance here. You're gonna say, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna talk about what I'm doing. It's just bragging. I'm just talking about myself all the time. That's marketing, honey, right? And you're not bragging, you are showcasing the work you do and who you do it for, you're showcasing your knowledge and expertise, which you absolutely do have, and you are celebrating the clients that you are working with, you're about to work with, and you have worked with, okay? So I want you to do that reframe. I want you to look at the work you were doing now and ask yourself if you could do a couple of minute Facebook Live, if you could whip up a very quick Instagram tips carousel, only text, if you could quickly type out a LinkedIn post and share some insight. And if it makes it easier, record it on your phone and then edit the transcript. But the idea is to have this very quick from what I'm working on right now to quickly putting it up on social media and not slowing down. It's very easy for us to overthink, oh, it needs to be part of the strategy and I need to have branded template. No, 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 just grab an insight, showcase the work you're doing, put it out there, because it will send signals to your ideal clients that they should talk to you. And remember, you're not showcasing work you don't wanna do. You're not showcasing aspects of the work that you do not wanna be known for. You're showcasing your ideal dream clients doing your favorite kind of projects and you're doing it all the time. All right, I hope that helps. I'd love to know what action you're gonna take based on this, because it's all in the action. If you're not taking action, if you're not gonna do it, it's just a nice little live. Have a great weekend, everyone.